Have you ever seen a joining table in a database diagram that connects to three other tables instead of just two? That might seem odd at first, but there's a really good reason to design it that way and if you're building real world systems, it's something you'll run into more often than you think. In this video, I'll show you exactly why you'd want to join a table with three foreign keys and how to model it properly. By the way, if you want to improve your database design skills, grab all of my free database design projects by using the link in the description. Let's start with something familiar. Say you have students and courses for a college or even an online learning platform. One student can enroll in many courses and each course can have many students. That's a many to many relationship. To capture this correctly in a database, you need to use a joining table. Let's call it student course. In this table, we add the primary keys of each of the other two tables, student and course, and mark them as foreign keys. That part's probably clear. But now let's say we want to track the status of that enrollment. Is the student currently enrolled? Did they complete the course? Did they drop out? You could add a text column to the student course table called status and enter values manually, but that's not ideal. Let me show you a better way. Instead of a free text value, we use a lookup table, something like enrollment status. This will capture the list of possible values for a status, along with an ID for each row. We could store values such as enrolled, completed, dropped out, or pending. Then in the student course table, we add a third foreign key, status ID. So now our joining table connects to the student table, the course table, and the enrollment status table. It's still a joining table, but now it's doing more than just linking two entities. It's capturing the status of that relationship. Let me show you another example from a database design I shared in a previous video. Imagine we're designing a system for a medical clinic. Doctors can have multiple specializations like pediatrics, mental health, or sports medicine. And a specialization can belong to many doctors. So we have a join table, doctor specialization. This has the foreign keys to both the doctor table and the specialization table. But now we want to track the status of each specialization for each doctor. I don't know a lot about the medical field, but let's assume that doctors need to keep their specializations up to date and there is some kind of review process. We could capture this in the status column as things like active, expired, or under review. So we add a third table for the specialization status. We add an ID and a value, like the enrollment status in the last example. Now for our joining table, we add a foreign key to this table. The joining table now has three foreign keys, doctor, specialization, and status. This lets us record information that says, Dr. Smith is a pediatric specialist and that status is currently active. We've still got a many-to-many -many relationship here, but now it includes extra information that comes from a separate lookup table. You could even capture additional information in this joining table. It doesn't need to link to a third table. Let's say you want to capture the next review date for a doctor's specialization. You can add another column to this table called next review date or review date. This can be a simple date time value. It doesn't need to link to a lookup table, but it just shows that you can enhance these records in many ways. Remember, if you want to improve your database design skills, grab all of my free database design projects by using the link in the description. You might be wondering why not just store the status as a string in the join table? You could, but here is why I don't recommend it. First, you'll get typos. You'll get values like active in lowercase, active in title case, and active in uppercase with a spelling mistake. It's hard to query. You can't join to another table to show more information about the status. There's no validation. There's no way to restrict the values that can be entered. There's no metadata. What if you want to add icons, descriptions, or colors for each status? A lookup table solves all of that. Here are some good use cases for a join table with three foreign keys. You could have a student course status to track enrollment status, like in our example. Another example is project employee role to track a person's role on a project. You can have user group membership to record active, suspended, or expired memberships. Or one called product category tag with a tag type ID to describe what kind of tag it is. Whenever you've got a many-to-many -many relationship and some extra metadata, especially if it comes from a list of values, it's worth thinking about this design. It keeps your data consistent, avoids duplication, and makes your queries easier to write and maintain. If you like this realistic example, you'll want to watch this video next where I design a database from a flight booking website and cover a lot of the different features you might have seen on one of these sites. Thanks for watching.